Hey kids. It's mocktail Tuesday for y'all, I guess. Um, and we are doing some dragon fruit ices today. Um, yesterday I did some dragon fruit lime for the adults. And um, dragon fruit is so fun and pretty. So I decided that we were gonna use dragon fruit for y'all today too. And y'all, um, some of your adults voted for it as well. So we gonna do it. Um, it's cold in my house right now, so I put on a sweatshirt. But let me show you what our ingredients are for today. And then I'm gonna show you the tools you need to have and then we will get started and we will make our icings, okay? As you tune in, say hey, tell your mom or dad or whoever, whatever adult you're watching this video with, tell them to type your name in the comments so I can say hey to you while we're making our icings, okay? So, first things first, I used dragon fruit yesterday, so I just saved half of it for our drink today. And um, it actually kept up really, really good. I just put it in the fridge. So when I cut it yesterday, this is what the, the inside of the dragon fruit looks like. So this is a white dragon fruit. Um, they also have dragon fruit that is pink on the inside or red on the inside. And basically you see the little black things, the little black dots, it's like nature's polka dots. But these are the seeds. These are seeds, the seeds of your um, dragon fruit. And the seeds are edible, so it's okay to eat the inside. You just can't eat the skin, okay? So these are, uh oh I don't wanna smush it. Um, the inside of the dragon fruit is, the consistency is very like mushy, kind of like a kiwi. So I gotta be careful not to smush it. So you see, this is how it looks. Hey, Layla. Get your ingredients, girl. So this is our dragon fruit, okay? So I already cut it, because this is what I have left over from yesterday. So we have that. Next, we need a lime. I love lime. Lime is really, really good. It's kind of like a lemon, but it's smaller, it's green, but it's called a citrus fruit. Um, citrus, uh, citrus fr fruits are lemons, limes, oranges, and grapefruit. So citrus is really good for you and healthy. We have some Simply Limeade juice. So it's kind of like lemonade, but they use it lime. You see the lime on the cover, or the cover. The lime on the front, the lime on the front of the drink is like the lime that I have and the lime that you have, hopefully, okay? And then we have some Sprite. So you'll need a little Sprite. And then we have some Italian ice cups. So mine, um, I have two, cause I'm gonna make two drinks. I'm making one for me and one for my sister. So mine, this flavor is pineapple. See the little pineapple slice right there? And then this flavor is mango. Hey Ash. Yeah, it really doesn't, I mean, it's not a strong taste at all. It's like a very subtle, very mild flavor. To me, it's kind of like kiwi. Like, it's not super, super strong. Even when kiwi is ripe, it's still, it's like, um, you have to add other fruits and other things to it to kind of help bring out the flavor. So that's why we're doing the limeade with it and stuff. So, um, yeah, so those are our ingredients. So dragon fruit, Sprite, limeade, lime, and then our um, um, Italian ice cups. Whatever flavor you have will be good. So tell me what flavor you have. Tell your tell your parents uh, or your gran your grandma, whoever you're watching this with, tell them to type in the comments and tell me what flavor you have for your icy. Okay. Then what we need, we also will need a fork and a spoon. So I have the fork. We're going to use the fork for the lime. We're going to use the spoon to um, scoop out our Italian ice. So you need both of those. You need a knife to cut your lime. Make sure you're safe and careful with the knife. Let your um, let the adults help you with the knife. You don't want to cut yourself. We also just need a bowl. So just get any bowl that you may have near you. 
And what we're gonna do with the bowl, we're gonna put some hot water in here. Well, not super hot, but like warm water in here. And as we're doing the other parts to make our drink, we're gonna put our Italian ice in the water. So it'll kind of help loosen it up for us, okay? Cause you know, it's frozen. Like mine is frozen, so it's like hard. So we need to soften it up a little bit. And then you just need your cup or whatever you're gonna put your drink in. Um, I was gonna use these, but I might get my, um, yeah, I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna use this cup. I was gonna get my, uh, what is it? Oh, my mason jar, but I'm not. So yeah. Um, so, okay, so first thing, let's go ahead. Ooh, raspberry. Okay, that's the raspberry is gonna be good with the um, with the dragon fruit. It's really good because it's not gonna overpower it. Okay, so first, what we need to do, get your bowl. Go get your bowl. Put some warm water in your bowl, and then come right back. Okay, so I'm gonna do it too. So let me go get. I'm gonna go get my water. You are gonna hear my water turn on? Not a lot, just a little bit. Take a minute for my water to get warm. Get you some warm water and put it in your bowl. That ain't gonna take a long time. Come on, water. Hope you can see this. Okay, good, it's getting warm now. Okay, good. So look, I'm back. I just put some warm water in my bowl. Not a lot, can you see? I didn't put a lot. So I'm gonna put my icy in the water. I needed a bigger bowl because I have two so that it will loosen up some. But if you're using ice cream or um, sorbet or anything like that, you can skip that step. You don't have to do that part. But this is for if you have the icy because they're frozen, okay? So next, have your parent help you. You gotta cut your dragon fruit open. So I've already cut mine because I, cu I cut mine yesterday. But what you do is lay it down. Again, let somebody help you. Be careful with your knife. And all you have to do is cut it in half. So cut it down the middle like that. Cut it in half, be careful. When you open the inside, it's gonna look like this. So the white part and the black, the black dots, the black dots are seeds. We can eat that part, but we cannot eat the skin. So once you cut it in half, then cut it in fourths so you have four pieces, okay? And then once you have your four pieces, we're gonna take the skin off. It'll be easy. This is super soft, so we literally can just peel the skin right on off. You can't eat the skin of a dragon fruit, okay? So. You go ahead and cut your dragon fruit up, and then once you have your four pieces, carefully go ahead and peel the skin off of one of your pieces, like I'm doing right here. See? So the skin just peeled right on off. Kinda look like an onion skin from the inside, huh? Like a red onion. But, so now it's just the white part. And you see the bottom? And then that's the top. See? So that's all you have to do. Peel the skin off only one piece of it. I gotta wipe my hands off because this is kind of the texture of the the skin side is kind of slimy a little bit, kind of like kiwi or something. Um and so now we're just going to Put our dragon fruit to the side. Just push it to the side a little bit. And next, get your lime. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut the lime in half. So go ahead and cut your, actually, I need to, um, yeah, cut your lime in half, be careful. I need to sharpen this knife too. Cut your lime so you have two pieces now, see? straighten up got too much stuff on the counter 
So now that you have your line in two pieces, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna juice, you're gonna take the juice out of half of your line. So you're going to get your line, get your fork, okay? You gotta stick your fork in the line. So stick your fork in. And what we're gonna do when we squeeze the lime juice out, twist your fork away from you and then squeeze and pull your lime toward you. So basically we're making a motion like this. And that's just gonna help us get the lime juice out easier. See, look, hopefully you can see this. This is the easy way I've learned to juice a lime because I don't have one of the little juicer things to get juice out of like lemons and limes. So I'll just use a good old fork, okay? So if you're making one cup, you only need half the lime. If you're making a cup for yourself and your mom or your dad or your brother or sister or whoever, then you each need a lime in your cup. I'm making two. So here's my one that I squeezed out. Now I need the other half for my other cup, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing. Stick your fork in. Twist your fork away from you, so twist it that way and squeeze and and twist your line toward you this way. So see, you can do this with oranges, you can do this with lemons, grapefruit, any citrus that you need to get the juice out real quick. And you don't have a if you don't have a juicer, do this trick. This helps. Okay. So in your cup now, you should just have the lime juice in there. See, it's not a whole lot, but we need that. All right. So next, what we're going to do, hold on. I'm trying to clean up. I'm making a mess. If you make a mess, that's okay. Just make sure you clean it up when you get done. You can't leave a mess. Okay. So there we go. Next, we're going to take your dragon fruit that you cut. You see, can you see? I need to discard some stuff. I got too much stuff out. Okay, get your dragon fruit. And you need your knife again. I'm wiping the lime juice off. Be careful with your knife. What you're gonna do is just cut your dragon fruit into small cubes, so like a square. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut mine in half, see? And then I'm just gonna cut it into small pieces, okay? So just cut it into small pieces. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make it small because we're gonna use some of these small pieces we're about to put in our drink right now. So just cut it up the best you can. The inside is pretty soft on mine, so I'm not really having to, like I probably could have cut it with this fork, but it's really, really um, soft, so it should be easy to cut. And again, parents and adults, the consistency of it is kind of like kiwi, how it's like soft and kind of mushy. So this is how much I have right now. I'm gonna use my spoon and I'm just going to scoop these up and I'm gonna put them in one of my cups, right on top of my lemon juice. That's gonna help the flavor of the dragon fruit. Lime just brings out other flavors, other things flavors, okay? Then cut up the rest of it and then you can use that in your other drink, or you can just put extra. Um, but since I'm making two drinks, I gotta cut up, I gotta cut up more small pieces, okay? So I'm making a drink for me and I'm making a drink for my sister, so. Okay, cut it up. Be careful though, don't cut yourself, watch your fingers, or just let your mom cut it, or let your dad cut it. 
Okay, so I'm done. I'm gonna use my spoon again and put it in my cup, okay? And you should actually taste one. Before you put all your pieces in, taste it and see if you like it. And it really don't taste like much. But it's gonna taste better once we put all the ingredients in. Okay, so we are done with that part. So look, so now you should have your lime juice in the bottom and your dragon fruit on top of that, okay? Now, cleaning up again. Now we're going to open our icy um, or our ice cream, whatever you have. I'm gonna do the mango in one cup and I'm gonna do the pineapple in another cup. So whatever you have, if you have raspberry, if you have lemon, if you have cherry, strawberry, watermelon, whatever flavor you have, that is fine. So let me take one cup and I'm gonna open it. And um, it got soft, see? Now I can like push the, I can smush it in because I had it sitting in my warm water. So you see, it's like loose now. So just take the lid off. And you see my mango one is orange. Oh well. Oh, you can see it now. It's like bright orange, see? So I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm just gonna take one of my cups and I'm gonna put my icy, my Italian, uh oh, I'm spilling it. I'm making a mess, y'all. It's okay. I'm gonna put my icy in there in the cup. I'm gonna put the whole thing. This is like our ice. So we don't have to get, we don't have to use ice. This is our ice. So just do this carefully so you don't make a mess like me. This smells so good. This mango. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Be careful. Put that in there. Spilling it. I'm about to spill some. Okay. I'm doing good. I got a little bit more to go. All right. Now the whole thing is out. And the whole thing is empty. It's in my cup now. See, look. See? So now look, I have my, my, my lime juice at the bottom, my, my dragon fruit in there, and now I have my icy. I'm gonna try to, um, well it don't matter if it's even or not, but I'm gonna try to like scoot it down some. So that's my mango one, and now I'm gonna do my pineapple one. I have pineapple. So let me open my pineapple one. See my pineapple one is yellow, can you see that? Probably can't see it. Well, let me, there we go. My, this is my pineapple icy, okay? So same thing, I'm gonna scoop that out. I'm gonna try not to make a mess, but I probably will, but it's okay. If you make a mess, what are you supposed to do after that? Just clean it up, that's it. Tell somebody that you made the mess and ask for help if you need it, but just clean it up, that's it. Okay. Gotta break this one up some, this one's a little, there we go. Ooh, it's a big piece, I don't know if y'all can see that. All right. Yes. I could have mixed them together, you know? I could have put some pineapple and some mango in both, but maybe next time. I didn't think about that until just now. 
Okay, so I got my two drinks now. I got my pineapple, my lime juice, and my dragon fruit in this one, and I got my mango, my dragon fruit, and my lime juice in this one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some Simply Limeade on top. So actually, I'm gonna, I need to shake it up. I need to shake it up good. Make sure you shake it up. If you have lemonade or another juice, that's fine. And then just pour it on top. Can you see? Pour about, pour about halfway. Well, I did, I did like three-fourths of the way. Pour, pour it almost to the top. Okay. And you see now that we poured it in there, everything is coming up. That's good. That's what we want. Okay, see? So now we got our lime juice in there, our limeade, our dragon fruit and everything. Next, we're going to top off the rest with Sprite. So get your Sprite, open your Sprite, and just fill the rest of it. Don't fill it all the way up. Just fill it up like right below the edge, the rim of your glass, okay? Because we're going to add the rest of our, we're going to add the rest of our dragon fruit to the top. Okay? So I still have, remember, we still have more dragon fruit. Still have more dragon fruit. So with the rest of our dragon fruit, we are just going to add a little bit more to the top. So let's see, I'm gonna cut a little piece off. We don't need that much. And then we'll be done. And then we can, we can taste it and see how good it is. Okay? So, can you see this? So see, I just cut another little piece. I just took another little piece of the dragon fruit. See, it's kind of small. And I'm just gonna add more uh, dragon fruit to the top of my cup, okay? So cut up some more little pieces and we're gonna add it to the top. That's called our garnish. We're just trying to make our drink look pretty a little bit, you know? And then we'll be done. So, let me put some on, put some in here. Then I gotta go get my straw. I'm putting some in both of them. Okay, oh, come on, come on, come on. She was trying to fall on the floor, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. All right, and look. That's all. So you got a dragon fruit right here at the top. We got our, um, and we got some at the bottom. Remember, we put some at the bottom too. We have our lime juice in there. We have our lime, and we have our Sprite. And that's it. So that's my pineapple one. And this is my mango one. See, so whatever flavors you like, that's fine. Um, let me go get a straw. I need a straw. I need two straws, because I got to taste both of them. Get you a straw. I have a paper straw with a little chevron on it. So, I need a straw for both. I'm going to taste both of them. Okay? Okay. I'm going to taste the mango one first because it just looks so good. This is so good. Okay, let me taste the pineapple one. Mmm, both of those are good. Okay, taste yours and let me know how it is. Tell me if you like it. It's really good. So that was it. That was our... um. That was our passion, our passion fruit. That was our dragon fruit. So I still have a little piece left. See the dragon fruit right here? So if you want to put more in your drink, you can. 
If you just want to eat it by itself, you can, but you have to take the skin off, okay? You can't eat the skin. The skin is not, you're not supposed to eat the skin. In some varieties of um, dragon fruit, the skin is poisonous. Not the ones that we buy from the store, obviously, but uh, dragon fruit grows on cactus, on a cactus. So it's like a cactus fruit, even though people say it's a tropical fruit, it's a cactus fruit. And so in nature, the skin is poisonous sometimes. Um, they have different ones. So like this one is um, white on the inside. They have some that are red on the inside with black seeds and some that are pink on the inside with black seeds. So I think it's the, I think it's the pink one that they say is poison, the skin is poisonous. This skin is not poisonous, it's just nasty. So don't eat it, but you can eat the inside and it's soft. It kind of tastes like, uh, the flavor's like really mild, like, like kiwi. I keep saying that, but it is like, you know, kiwi, it don't really taste like nothing until you put it with other fruit. So with the dragon fruit in here, in these, it tastes really good because there's other fruit in there. See? So that's all. So let's recap just in case you missed the ingredients. So in the ingredients, we had, um, we had our dragon fruit. We put some uh, an Italian ice cup in there. So I had two. I had one mango and one. Um, I had one mango and one pineapple. We put limeade. We put Sprite, and we squeezed uh, lime juice. We squeezed fresh lime juice, and that's it. That's pretty much it. And we ended up with these. So cheers, put your glass up to the, to the phone, cheers, or whatever you're looking from. And yay, so hopefully you like this, taste your drink, let me know if you like it. Kids, tell your parents to take a picture of you with your drink and post it so I can see how you did yours and I can see what flavors you did with yours. Um, yesterday, when I made the drink for the adults, I made the drink in this type of glass. So this is like, I put cucumber and I put dragon fruit in there. And so after I drunk all the limeade out, I just been drinking my water like this all day. So it looks kind of crazy because it keeps breaking up. But I pretty much have some cucumber dragon fruit water. It tastes kind of like, you know how people do detox water where you can put like lemon and lemon and lime and cucumber stuff in your water it's really really good so i'm gonna start doing that for the rest of the summer you know dragon fruit is seasonal so while they have it at the store um while they have it in stores i'm gonna keep getting well i'm not gonna keep getting it because it's expensive but i'll probably get some more before the summer is over to use and then i made an infused simple syrup yesterday with the dragon fruit and this is how i stored it so parents or adults if you're watching this this was a simple syrup that I made yesterday for our mocktail. Um, and what I did was I just boiled um, a cup of sugar and a cup of water together on the stove and let the sugar dissolve. What did I say? A cup of sugar, yes. I let the sugar dissolve and then I, I cut up um, dragon fruit and put it in there. And so I've been letting the dragon fruit, inf dragon fruit infuse overnight. And so um, now I have some dragon fruit infused simple syrup that I can use for other drinks. Uh, but before I use it, I'll just take the dragon fruit out. But you can make your own simple syrup. So I know they have it at stores, like you can buy it, but you can just make it at home. It's just equal parts sugar to water. So however much sugar is the same amount of water you need to put. So if you do half a cup of sugar, do half a cup of water, you know, fourth cup of sugar, fourth cup of So it just doesn't matter the amount as long as they're equal amounts. And then you just let the sugar dissolve and then you can put whatever else you want in there. So you can put herbs, like you can put mint or rosemary, you can put fruit or whatever. So before I've done rosemary infused simple syrup, but this time, this is my first time doing fruit infused and it was dragon fruit and it's really good. But yeah, that's it. So this is our mocktail, mocktail for kids. We did a uh, dragon fruit ice, icy, I think I called it. So yay. So thank y'all for tuning in. Hey, QB. Hope you're doing well. Um, we did some dragon fruit ices with the kids. We used some little Italian ices that I got from the store. I got the Lindy's brand, but sometimes I'll get like the Luigi's. Um, if you have a good like shaved ice place near you, or like an Italian ice, like in Fayetteville, I like to go to the Pelican, um, the Pelican off Ramsey. Um, I'm in Raleigh though now. 
and there used to be a pelican on capitol boulevard but i don't know what happened to it so um one of my friends amanda brewer shout out to you amanda if you end up watching this but um i just found out that she has her own italian ice business so i'm gonna have to place an order so that next time i make a drink with italian ice i can be you know supporting somebody i know and she has a lot of different um, flavors um, Amanda well she's not I don't know if she's on but I think she's based in Durham but I'll actually ask her for the link to her business and post it in the comments if anybody wants to support but yeah so that's it I'm not gonna talk y'all heads off like I did yesterday but we have a pineapple one pineapple dragon fruit and we have a mango dragon fruit so yay thank you for tuning in I'll be back next week kids with another drink for y'all to do um, I don't know what it's going to be yet, so I'll post it. Um, I'll post the ingredient list so your moms and dads know what to get for you or your auntie or whoever so they know what to buy. And then we'll be back live next Tuesday to make it together. Okay? So thank you for tuning in. Thank you. And I will see y'all next time.